Hello friends, welcome to the session. Today we will see one of the use case to use Git version semantic versioning. Now it supports different types of modes, but we will focus on mainline development. To explain this use case, I will use a simple repository, which is in Azure DevOps. So it will have master or main branch. We will tag it as 1.0.0 version. And from there we'll create a feature branch and we'll start work on our local setup and after committing some changes we'll push that feature branch to azure devops remote and there we'll create a pull request and once the pull request is successful we'll merge into main trunk or the master branch and here we expect that the version of minor should get incremented as this is a changes done into feature so the version will become 1.1.0 once this is done we will create another branch which will be a bug fix branch again we'll work on that in our local setup do some comments to it and push it to azure devops remote there we'll create a pull request for this bug fix branch and once it is successful we'll try to merge this code back into main branch now here because this is a bug fix so we expect the patch version should get incremented and the final version for master should show 1.1.1 so this is what we are going to achieve in this session now to get this scenario working we need to make two changes so let me show you those changes let's go to azure devops this is my repository in azure devops and here you can see in my repository i have added a git version.yaml file with this type of settings so mode will be mainline and i have added tags for feature and fix this is the pipeline which i am using to generate git version so these are the steps i am using self hosted agent there is a step git version execute which uses git version.yaml file it calculates the git version and displays and then updates the semantic versioning to the build number after adding this we will use PR templates which Microsoft supports. So I've created dot Azure DevOps folder and under that pull request templates under branches I have created two templates, one for bug fix and another for feature. There is nothing here. Bug fix just has a string called plus samver colon patch. This string should be there. And in the feature, the string becomes plus samver colon minor. So these two template should be there in case you want to learn more about these PR templates you can go to Microsoft site and here you can see it has full explanation about how to improve pull request descriptions using templates so there are different ways to do it I'm just showing you one of the ways which is having these templates under dot Azure DevOps there are some more uh, details provided here you can go and visit this so once you have set up this now let's see how it works so let's go back to azure devops and under tags let's create a new tag 1.0.0 and now we'll pull this repository locally so here you can see i have already created clone of the repository so i will go to the latest and then i'll create a feature branch and just for demo purpose i will add some empty commits i will add one more and now i will push this changes to azure devops remote now let's go to azure devops and under pull request we can create a pull request now so give some title and here before you add anything to description, manually you have to select this template and those two templates are visible here now. Now because this is a feature branch, so we we'll select the feature template and it populates this string which we should not remove but we can add our description here and then create this pull request. So this pull request will run now. I will pause this video and we'll be back once pull request is completed so the pull request is completed and it was successful so i will start the merge of this changes into main branch now here when you are trying to complete the pull request you have different merge types available i have already made a video where i have used merge no fast forward in this one i will show you how to use squash commit so all the commits from the feature branch will be added into the main branch and i also check this checkbox delete this feature branch once merge is completed so let's complete this so we can go to pipelines and check how is it running i think it's completed so you see here this was a pull request 
for merge and the version if you see here it's already updated to 1.1.0 let me show you inside the pipeline what exactly we have so this git version execute will get the version and you can see here major minor and match patch and then i display this calculated version which is here 1.1.0 and then the same version is updated to build number so normally you will see a build number shown here that variable provided by azure devops is updated to this new value 1.1.0 now we'll create another branch bug fix branch so hit in we'll just update the main branch and we'll create a branch for bug fix here also we'll add some empty commits and then we'll push this to HO DevOps remote if you observe here we have added three commits so we expect the patch version to get updated by one once this bug fix is merged into main branch let's go to azure devops and we'll create a pull request for this bug fix new bug add title and again from the added template template select bug fix template this time and add your description here and let's create this pull request once the pull request is completed i will come back now you can see the pull request for the bug fix is completed so we'll approve this and complete now we'll again merge using squash commit and we'll delete the branch once it is completely merged so merging pull requests have started let's go to the pipeline and see how it is running so this is the pipeline which has started once it is successful you see this build number will change and it will get updated using the git version which it calculates for this one so you can see here it has changed now so once the bug fix was merged the patch version got updated by one because it was just a bug fix not a feature fix whereas earlier it was feature fix that time it got updated by one in the minor version so you can see it's easy to use git version semantic versioning and using pr templates to update minor or patch version depending on whether feature or bug is updated and merged into main master branch i hope this helps thank you for watching we'll see you in the next session